We celebrate the second Sunday of Advent. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Advent really is a, an important time in the church here because it kind of reminds us all that this is, this is our home. This is a, a place where we're supposed to come to celebrate our joys and to deal with our sorrows. So as we begin, let's kind of think of what um, Advent teaches us about God and about ourselves. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom give us admittance to his company through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, Look to the east and see your children, gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring them back to you, borne aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty man, mountain be made low, and that the age-old depths and gourds, gorges be filled to level ground that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forest and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command, for God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done great things, things for us. We are, we are filled, filled with, with joy. joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The, the Lord, Lord has, has done, done great things, things for us. We, we are, are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The, the Lord, Lord has, has done, done great things for us. We are, we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The, the Lord, Lord has, has done great, great things for us. us. We, we are filled, filled with joy. joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done great, great things, things for us. For we, we are filled, filled with joy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Itura and Trachonitis, and Lysanias was tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Anaphis and Caiaphas, the word of God 
came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went through the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding roads shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, you're never going to believe this, but two different families sent me the same story. So I figure that means I got to use it. While driving to church one morning to say Mass, Father Alco pulled behind a rather large truck, stopped at a red light. Father Alco jumped out of his car, ran up to the truck driver's door, and knocked. The trucker lowered the window, and Father Alco smiled and said, Hi, my name is Father Alco, and I just wanted to tell you you're losing some of your load. The truck driver said nothing as he raised the window, proceeded down the street when the light turned green. After driving a short distance, Father Alco once again pulled behind the same truck at another red light. Once again, he jumped out of his car, ran up to the truck driver's door, knocked. When the trucker lowered his window, Father Alco smiled and said, Hi, my name is Father Alco. I just wanted to tell you, you've been losing some of your load. The truck driver just shook his head as he rolled up the window, proceeded down the street when the light turned green. Same thing happened at the next two red lights. Each time, Father Alco jumped out of his car, ran to the truck driver's door, knocked. He lowered the window. Father Alco told him who he was. Then the guy was losing part of the load. So the truck driver just mumbled to himself as he raised the window because the light turned green. At the fifth light, the truck driver noticed Father Alco again pulling behind his truck. The trucker jumped out of his truck, ran to Father Alco's car, knocked on Father Alco's car door. When Father Alco rolled down his window, the truck driver said, Hi, my name is Kevin. I just wanted to tell you we're in the middle of a snowstorm in northeastern Pennsylvania, and I'm driving the salt truck. That's two weeks in a row, so I'm on a roll. You know, interesting, um, Advent Christmas is a very interesting time of the year. There's a story I read back in 1988 in the uh, Los Angeles Times that um, I'd like to read to you because I think it's something that we all need to hear. The article was um, a story about a woman, her name was Beverly Elliott, from Houston, and she was looking for um, her son, Russell Love, whom she hadn't seen in four years. She hadn't spoke with him in two years. She knew he was homeless and living somewhere in Los Angeles County. And she called the police department and according to the article, they couldn't help her. So what she decided to do was to put an ad in the newspaper, in the personals, and here's what the ad said. Um, it reads, Russell L. Love from Houston, or anyone knowing where he lives, call his mother, collect, and listed the phone number. And the thing went on to say, Russell, your mother will never forget you. She loves you. She hoped that someone would read that and maybe be able to have any knowledge about Russell, and someone actually did. His name was Ralph Campbell. Ralph spent 25 years um, homeless, living on the streets, and he was eating a sandwich and somebody unrolled the newspaper it was wrapped in and he saw the article and heard some other guy say, hey Russ, do you want part of a sandwich? So he contacted the news reporter and here's the following thing happened. The news reporter went to where the guy told him to and eventually he found this guy, Russell Love. And so he said, the reporter said, are you Russell Love? He said, yes I am. He said, your mother wants you to call her and he gave Russell the little ad from the paper. So what he did was he took the paper, rolled up his bedroll, and started walking down the avenue. Well, on Friday, Russell called his mother, and his mother told him how much she missed him. They talked three times that week between Friday and Monday. She said she would send him some money, and when she got paid, she would get him, send him money so that he would come home for Christmas. Well, the money arrived, 
Russell had to call home to get some proof of who he was so he could cash the check. But here's the interesting part that his mother said. I'm going to see that he gets all the ID necessary to get a job. I'm going to try to make it possible for him to rethink his decision and come back into the world he came from and to make a better decision. I can't think of anything better to describe what Christmas is really all about. It's reminding us all to come home and to make better decisions. No matter what decisions we have made, we're welcome to come back home, which is here and any church or synagogue around, you want to do that. But um, to make something better, better decision of our life is really what I think this is all about. To kind of conclude the story, Russell did go home, and it was an article in the paper, it said, where they were hugging each other, and Russell was quoted as saying, it feels great to be home. It's nice to be a family again after being a traveler. So just remember, this will always be home. God bless. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now offer these petitions. For our church, may it prepare the way for the Lord during the season of Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, may this season of Advent assist us in deepening our personal relationship with Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people, May they realize the role they play in God's plan for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, may they receive the charity they need during this holiday season and all throughout the year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, since we have no merit to plead our cause. Come to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, he assumed that his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and fulfilled the plan you formed long ago and opened for us the way to salvation. Now we watch for the day, hoping that the salvation promised us will be ours when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. So we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember George L. Men and Joseph Butera, Joseph Romasevich, Fred P. Lakuta, James Bauer, deceased members of the Plagic and Vanavich families whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Replenished by the food, thy spiritual nourishment, we humbly pray, O Lord, that our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.